Why are you smoking? Forces that work and we're aware. You know what I mean? You just gotta roll with those fucking punches. You know? Bobby. Damn. Just got really deep on me there. You know I get my philosophies on every once in a while. Dropping gems. Love it. Good morning! What's happening guys? How you guys been doing? It is a beautiful day in New York. It is definitely cold. It starts snowing a little bit. It's a very busy day so far. It is actually not morning anymore. It is 11.30 and I'm going to the gym. Usually I go to the gym around like 6 a.m. 6.30, 7 a.m. maximum. The reason here is I like to start the day fresh and I know that I did something good for my body and I can be focused throughout the day. So that's what I really like to do. But today I couldn't do it. I had to do a lot of like phone calls in Germany. We're doing right now something in Germany that I can't talk right now to you guys. Yeah, that's why I'm going now to the gym and I'm very psyched. And then actually I want to talk to you guys something. But I forgot that uh, item that I want to talk to you guys because I was very excited. So I will show it to you after I get out of the gym and come back home. Life is beautiful. New York is cold. It's not freezing, it's cold. It was colder. Like last weekend it was crazy. Today it's easy going. The worst thing in New York is it's not New York weather. It's the combination of having New York cold freezing weather with Raha. <laughs> so the reason why I'm saying that is Raha is a person that loves summer. When we were living in Los Angeles, she was always happy. She loved Los Angeles, but she always wanted to live in New York as well, get that experience. I mean, we both wanted to come to New York and get this experience out of our system and have this as a goal and be done with it. But she's very weather driven. When the weather sucks, when it's rainy, she goes into a mood where I just like think, just uh, go into the kitchen, get a knife and just run into it and be done with this life. <laughs> On the winter days, I'm just like afraid to go home because Raha is going to look at me and say, I hate this weather. You're just going to like... That's why I think it's good that Valentine's Day, it's on the winter times, her birthday is on the winter times, so she gets a little bit more, some sweets <laughs> into the winter times, so she a little bit can ignore this cold weather. I'm right now close to where I live, it's close to the Apple store, Midtown, not Upper East Side. Christos, I learned something. Uh, I always said that this is Upper East Side, but this is actually Midtown, this is what Christos told me. So when I'm wrong, it's not me I'm wrong, it's all Christos fault, so Christos, it's you. The Plaza Hotel is right here, one of my favorite hotels in New York. Uh, when I was a kid, when I was living in Germany, I used to watch Home Alone, where Kevin came to New York by himself. It was always some little dream as a kid to hope one day to live here and, you know, it was a goal, check, done with it. Enjoy this beautiful day. I talk a lot today, I don't know why. I just need a friend, you know, that I can talk to, so that's why you guys are here. And Christos didn't want to hang out. All the cool people that I really love to talk for hours are away, not close to myself. Raha is doing her fashion thing as usual. So, when I talk too much, just subscribe and leave. It's always funny, you know, when I when I when I start recording, everybody's looking at me if I'm like retarded. Especially when I record my shoes when I walk, because I want to put them with the beats together, right? You guys seen it? But people are looking at me, looking at the camera, and staring at my shoes. <laughs> it's New York, guys. You should get used to it. You know what I mean? Two guys, two guys in New York. <laughs> it's funny. All right, the workout is done. It's very nice, but it's not snowing. And I love snow, guys. Look at this. Beautiful, right? Yep, yep, I know. Snow in New York, it's amazing. Look at this beautiful view. Yeah. 
Roha just brought me, so she said she's home. I think I'm gonna go home, talk to you about what I would like to talk to you guys that I'm very proud of. And then, yeah, I think I will gonna call this a day in beautiful New York. I was thinking to go home, but then I thought, Yusuf, it is snowing. And your subscribers want to see the snow in Manhattan. So enjoy, guys. happening guys how you guys been doing I know I know I told you guys that I would like to show you something that I'm very excited about I still couldn't do it because yesterday I went home and Raha was super sick so I had to take care of her I basically stopped vlogging yesterday but it is the next day I'm in Hell's Kitchen right now I'm going to a site we have a new project here I'm gonna just take some photos so that's why I'm here but I want to talk to you about that thing that I want to talk to you yesterday maybe it's not a big deal man maybe I just make it too big Right now, and you guys are just waiting and waiting and looking at this vlog and you're like, up, just show me that thing. All right, just look at this right now. Have you guys seen it? I'm very excited about this because this is my first time where I officially act in a full movie. Many of my friends saying, Yusuf, you're doing full-time work and you're so busy. Are you not getting too tired about this? Why are you doing this stuff on the side? But I see it like this, you know, I see it as an experience in your life. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to share it with you. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, the movie called Masterless. I will put all the information in the description below. Just check it out when you like. Life is all over it it goes down and up and i see this as an experience i am not like a person that says okay i'm i'm an architectural designer and that's it for the rest of my life i am one and i love doing what i do but i always want to do other things as well i need like a balance in my life I can't just do architecture all the time when i do that i go crazy that's why i jump into other fields as well and i see everything as an art Architecture is for me art. Designing uh, t-shirts is art for me. Making these vlogs is art for me. Editing these footages together is art for me. And acting for me is as well an art. The guy that grew up in Germany, very poor, is now all the way here doing as much as he can do. The only thing that I still sad about is, is my language skills. And I think I will get there. I hope you guys can understand me clearly. Sometimes Raha says, you pronounce it wrong, but I will get there, you know, I know four languages, so it's hard to keep up with everything. So I hope you guys like this vlog. I talked a lot today. Uh, enjoy life, be smile more, be happy, be positive, and uh, give positive vibes out because life is amazing. You will make the life positive when you see it positive. So be positive, stay positive, smile more, subscribe, share, love you big time. Bye guys. But generally you think what you hear on the radio is terrible. I think basically it's a product. And the reason why it is being manufactured is basically just to make money. And it, it seems to me to have very little to do with the, um, the basic reasons for making music in the first place. Why are you smoking? Huh? huh? The American flavor. <laughs>